Oh, and namaste from Mumbai. Um, today is a special day for many, many classical homeopaths here. Today is the birth anniversary of uh, Master Kent. And you know that there has been no one as special as Kent in homeopathy. Such a big impact he has made in our life. And, and <clears throat> not much is known about Kent and his work. We do read his Materia Medica, his literature. Many, many homeopaths before about a couple of decades would use Kent repertory only majorly. But I want to talk to you about how Kent has made a big difference in my life. And uh, mainly the cases that he kind of tried to solve and what I learned from it. I'm going to share with you three or phase, four cases of Master Kent. And what I learned from it. And I want to tell you, if you really want to learn from a homeopath, look at his solved cases. You'll understand what he exactly does. So forget any kind of ideas you have about Kent. Let's try to look at Kent, the prescriber. <clears throat> Let's see. Here we go. So I'm, I'm reading from Kent's lesser writings. Okay. I'm going to read some cases and I'm going to discuss with you. This is a case of exophthalmic goiter of a 48 year old uh, uh, lady who comes to meet Master Kent, who had a huge exophthalmic goiter. He took the entire history and he found that one of the main symptoms about her was <clears throat> Generally, that there's a lot of weakness, but she's generally very cheerful. And one of the very important symptoms he found was excitement, emotional excitement aggravates. <clears throat> hmm? Very interesting. And that she also would have a lot of headaches. She would be very excited and would want to do things very, very fast. <clears throat> Her dreams are vivid. Many, many dreams she would get. You know what remedy he gave? Very interesting. The remedy he gave was Lycopus virginica, 1M. Given twice at long intervals, which means he gave 1M, one dose, then waited for a few months, then 1M, then later on gave 10M, and later on, much later, gave um, 50M. After that, the neck and the goiter got cured and the heart was improved. The patient was under treatment for 15 months. This is, ladies and gentlemen, Lycopus virginica. Let's see this remedy for me to kind of talk to you about. Lycopus virginica. First, let's read from uh, Buric Materia Medica. <clears throat> First thing, it's a heart remedy and useful in exophthalmic goiter. They go, exact. What a master. And what else I want to talk to you about, which I want to obviously talk to you about, is what is it mainly known for? The main symptom of Lycopus virginica, we should know, is very, very excitable and excitement aggravates. This is interesting because work by, in future, by Dr. Sankaran, who is my mentor, And he puts it, Lycopus, in Labiate family. The main theme of it, it's mint family, is, is excitement. So interesting. Kent, so many years before time, could understand these patterns, plain gentlemen. That's what's exciting about Master Kent. <clears throat> the next remedy I want to talk to you, which, 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 uh, which, and um, the next case I want to talk to you about of um, Master Kent that really made a big difference in my life was the remedy of the case of very famous case of injury to the head. Okay, so there was a boy and um, he had a big head injury and after that he became unconscious. No one knew what to do. Normally you would think let's give Arnika. Kent went more in detail. He saw the symptoms. There was a lot of watery discharge from the ear, which was probably CSF fluid. 
the child remained unconscious for a long time the discharge was still dripping from the ear very interesting and now it started making acrid and later on created vesicles imagine what master kent gave huh? he gave the remedy one dose of tellurium after tellurium the child vomited and he totally recovered discharges from injury so this is the materia medica of tellurium we so tellurium you would never think of in head injury but that's not the keynote the keynote is let's understand is tellurium in any kind of case in any type of pathology when along with the pathology the concomitant symptom is discharges which are acrid which can cause vesicles whether it's head injury whether it's cancer whether it's coryza whether it's rheumatoid arthritis tellurium will help so you understand this artistic homeopathy this is what i these are the cases that made difference in my life this is the way i try to formulate the artistic analysis on homeopathy isn't it very exciting <laughs> master kent the great master kent <clears throat> let me give you one more and there are many cases of kent you can read from kent's lesser writings huh? this is a book you should read kent's lesser writing and i give to you one more very interesting case that made a big difference in my life this is a case of a ringworm of a child of 2 years and many remedies were given okay he had ringworm on chest and face he loved meat refuses everything else but the peculiarity was the child constantly chews during sleep like that and the child rolls his head during sleep like that <laughs> heliborus 1 and 2 powders one night the ringworm totally disappeared heliborus you would never think about in ringworm you think only in coma cases but see look at the peculiarity look at the mastery of kent this is lane gentlemen artistic classical homeopathy and this is what we need to spread evolve evaluate refine ourselves in so master kent namaste and salute to you have a good time lane gentlemen see you all very soon